Lord, this is your church. It doesn't belong to us. Would you give grace and would you give wisdom? As Grove and Bev hand off and then as Ben and Jody take on responsibility. If I told you my story, you would hear more. Lord, pour out your spirit. And let this continue to be a place where it's all about Jesus. About loving you and serving you. you Living in gratitude for what you've done in our life. It's just been more than I ever could have dreamed that we've had nearly 5,000 people come to meet Jesus. The Lord had given me a vision. And in the vision, I was the senior pastor in a four-square church in Billings, Montana. There were a lot of brown-skinned people in the church, and I was the happiest I'd ever been in my life. Grove came and talked to me, and I just felt like the Lord said, he's the one, he's the one for the Southside community. Wow, has he done a great job. It's just been a fun ministry. Pastor Grove come to, used to come to um, Pastures and do church with us, and I appreciate it. Now I'm here. That's what the Hope Center is all about. You know, trying to care about others and trying to help other people. I love the people. You know, I, I never wanted to be with addicts and alcoholics and criminals, and but I knew that in order to reach the South Side, you got to reach these guys. That's, I love the Hope Center. They welcome anyone and everyone. As Grove and Bev hand, handed off, they've been so faithful down here, and uh, Grove is a servant. He loves people. He's led led his neighbors to Christ, and it's just been a joy and a pleasure to see Jesus move far beyond anybody's expectations, including Grove, through what would happen. For Grove and Bev today, well done. You fought the good fight. You kept the faith. You haven't finished the race, but uh, you've been so faithful, and it's been a joy to watch what Jesus has done here. What does your future look like? Nobody knows, but he does. And when this weight goes off, I don't know when, but soon there'll be another thing that will present itself. I mean, you're a ministering person. You always have been ever since I've known you, and you'll continue to be a ministering person. I'm really going to miss uh, uh, Pastor Grove, but I know he's going to be around someplace, somehow, because... He really loved Jesus. He loves Jesus, and he's going to be working for him as long as he can. And that's all I want from Jesus, that in the end, he says, well done. This is hard uh, to watch the transition of uh, Pastor Grove leaving. You know, he's been here. It's been an inspiration to us all. Um, really hard to see him go. But I know that uh, Pastor Ben is going to do great things. God is uh, with him. Um, I think this is going to be an awesome transition, and I'm looking forward to it. Ben is the guy to follow me up. There's a weight that comes on you that nobody else will understand. The great thing is, along with the weight of that, comes the weight of his glory. The word in the Old Testament for glory is weight. So an anointing will come upon you that that will help you in those weighty times. Obviously, this is one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. Uh, but it's what God wants. And, uh, and I love you guys, and I'll always be behind you, uh, rooting for you. And... Uh, my spirit is always with this church. <laughs> and this life is a relay, not a marathon. The ministry of Hope Center is a relay, not a marathon. 
That's going to take a team of people who have their eyes fixed on Jesus, who keep their eyes on Jesus. It says that he's the author and the perfecter of our faith. He's the author of the church. And he's the author of Hope Center. You call me out upon the waters. I love his uh, enthusiasm and his uh, love for the Lord. So I think things are going to be great. It's going to be a great transition and new beginning. So uh, we're, we're excited about it. Amen. But Ben is going to do a, just a, a great job. I see it, Ben. I see the good pastor, you know, young hearted, you know, uplifting, you know, just he's for the community, you know, and I think he's going to be good, do good. He's right there with him, going to walk with him every day. And I'm really hoping that the church congregation will grow and grow and grow. And I think she's going to save a lot of souls through this. Transition. Don't let that, let that devil steal his joy. Well, my family and I are incredibly excited about this new adventure at Hope Center. I'm blessed by the history and the heritage here and hopeful about the future as well. One of the scriptures that's on our hearts is Psalm 68, where it talks about God being a father to the fatherless, a defender of widows in his dwelling place. And then he sets the lonely in families and leads the prisoner out with singing. And we're just excited to do that, excited to be part of taking that Father heart of God to people. I'm wishing him good, good luck on this new assignment that he's got, working for Jesus Christ. I just want to say God bless. I